The Snail and the Cherry Tree Once upon a time, in a pretty little garden, there stood a magnificent cherry tree. The cherries looked like small red rubies, shining brightly as they hung from the tree. Now in this garden, there also lived a very tiny little snail. Her name was Shelly. Shelly was a happy snail. In the spring and summer, she would play with the butterflies and watch the birds. But during the cold winters, Shelly would curl all the way up into her cozy warm shell and sleep soundly. When one such winter ended, Shelly woke up from her long slumber and came out of her shell. She peeped out to make sure spring had really come, and to her delight, it had. She saw all the flowers stretch out happily to the sun. She watched as the bees went buzzing around kissing the flowers and the butterflies danced around welcoming spring into the garden. As Shelly strolled through the garden admiring the beauty, her stomach suddenly growled. Oh, I ate so little during winter, I could eat almost anything. Hmm, but what will I find in this huge garden? She looked around, and her eyes then fell on the huge cherry tree. Oh, the cherry tree! Yum! I shall eat all the sweet and juicy cherries on it. I hope they're tasty. So Shelly crawled to the tree and began her climb. As she reached onto the twisted roots, a frog popped out from behind the bushes. It was Shelly's friend, Mr. Crokey. Hello there, Shelly. Where are you going on this wonderful morning? Oh, hi, Mr. Crokey. I am very hungry and want to eat the cherries that grow on the very top of this tree. But Shelly, my dear, there are no cherries on this tree. There are hardly any leaves. Maybe not now, but soon when I reach the top, there will be. If you had legs like mine that could jump as fast as I can, you wouldn't have to work so hard. I'm off to catch some flies for my breakfast. Would you like to join me? Ew! I, I mean, um, no thanks. I'm sure flies must be a delicious thing to you. Are you sure? Flies are just as juicy as cherries, you know. Maybe even more. Yes, yes, I'm very sure. I don't want that kind of juiciness. Well, goodbye, Mr. Crokey. I must go. Enjoy your, um, food. And away he hopped and jumped after the fly. But in his eagerness, he jumped too hard and banged straight into a tree. <laughs> Good thing I don't jump. I'll just crawl at my own pace. As she crawled up slowly and happily, she reached the mighty trunk. There she met another friend of hers, Bumble the Bee. Bumble came buzzing over as soon as she saw Shelly. Shelly, what are you doing here? Are you here to enjoy the breeze? Aha, uh -huh. no, Bumble. I am here because I want to eat the sweet cherries that grow high on this tree. Cherries? grow in the summer. Now there are only leaves. Yes, I see the leaves. I know the difference between leaves and cherries, thanks. But I am slow, and by the time I reach the cherries, it would already be summer. Really? Then I'll help you. When it's time for the cherries, ride on my back, and I will carry you up fast through the air. Ah-ah. Uh -uh. No, thank you. I would be too dizzy if you took me. I may even fall and roll right off. You would not fall off at all. It would be a very safe trip. But very well. If you don't want to, then let's not. Goodbye. I hope you get the juiciest cherries ever. Off she buzzed away. And as she did, Shelly turned her head and crawled upwards slowly and steadily. During the days, Shelly would sometimes be very tired, but she would think of the bright red cherries and would start climbing again. And when the nights fell, she would seep into her shell and take a good night's rest. And the next morning, she would start her climb again. The season was now slowly turning to summer, and little Shelly saw that the tree already had flower buds on it. While she looked, she suddenly felt a strong bit of wind on her. It was her friend, Wingsy. Oh, hi, Wingsy. You nearly blew me away. Hello, Shelly. Are you here to see the flower buds? 
They do look pretty, don't they? Not as amazing as they'll taste when they turn into cherries, which I so badly want. Cherries? Is that why you are here? But there are only these flower buds. You have come too early. <laughs> no, Wingsy. I have not come here early. I am right on time. Hmm. If you had wings as huge and magnificent as mine, you could have flown up easily to the top. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they just so... Whoa! Goodbye! Thank goodness I don't have any wings. <laughs> Shelly continued on. There was only one way she was going, and that was up. As she reached the branches, she saw the tree was now covered in beautiful white blossoms. Their fragrance filled the air and garden. As she stopped to smell the blossoms, there were two birds sitting and chirping happily to each other. Hey, isn't that Shelly? Where? Where? Oh, yes, it is her. How did she reach up here? Hi, Shelly. What are you doing here so far up the tree? Isn't it too high for you? Oh, hello. Yes, I have never come so high before. I came here as I wanted to eat the sweet cherries that grow on this tree. You climbed all the way here for cherries? Wasn't that difficult? Of course it was. The climb was long and I was so hungry. But every time I thought of the cherries, I kept climbing. And it was also very fun since I also met a lot of friends on my way. That is very admirable of you. But I feel very sorry for you as there are only blossoms on the tree. Do not worry. My journey isn't over yet. I still have to climb a little more. Well, goodbye to you two. I must continue on my way. The birds waved goodbye at Shelly as she continued to climb up the branches. Very soon she reached the top of the tree and she was very tired. But as she looked around, she was surrounded by the most beautiful red cherries she had ever seen. Wow, they all look so juicy. Oh, which one should I eat? Which should I eat? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just eat them all. Nom, 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 nom. Shelly ate and ate until she was so full she could eat no more. She had turned as fat as a cherry herself. Oof! I am so full. I am happy that I didn't give up. The climb was long and hard, but the result is extremely delicious. And indeed, Shelly was happy. She had worked hard and had patience in her climb and efforts. Shelly has shown that if you really want something, you must never give up on it.